Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with episode number two of Predicting Reactions. You will practice predicting the products, writing chemical equations, writing net ionic equations, and using your solubility rules. You will need a periodic table. You will need a polyatomic ion chart, and you're going to need your solubility rules. I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume you know nomenclature, that you can recognize the types of reactions, that you know how to write a net ionic equation, that you understand solubility rules. And if you don't understand any of these, or if you're having trouble with them, make sure you go to my channel and check out my videos. Your assumptions will be that in all cases, a reaction will occur. Solutions are aqu aqueous unless otherwise stated. Uh, you need to represent substances in solution as ions, and you need to omit ions that are unchanged by the reaction. Let's review how to write a chemical equation. One, determine the reactants in the product. Then you write formulas for everything. You put the reactants on the left and draw an arrow. Then put the uh, products on the right and then balance. Remember, you must omit ions or molecules that are unchanged by the reaction. Get ready, go. A piece of sodium metal is added to distilled water. Well, we have sodium, so let's write that down as a metal. And we have water. I like to write water as HOH instead of H2O, but that's just my preference. And now let's look at the uh, possible uh, products. Let's make a prediction. Sodium is going to be a plus uh, one ion. And water can uh, break apart into a hydrogen and OH ions. The OH is going to combine with the sodium and give us sodium hydroxide and uh, H is going to combine to make hydrogen gas. And that's a single replacement reaction. Now let's balance the equation. We have two hydrogens here and uh, one here. Now I'm not going to count the OH hydrogen. I'm going to count that as OH. So let's make it so there's two. But now that gives us two OHs. So we need to come over here and get two H's two OHs. Now remember, you can't change subscripts. You can only change the coefficients. Now we have sodium here, but we had two on the other side, so we're just going to increase that, and it's balanced. Let's check the net ionic equation. Do we see any? I don't see any um, spectator ions. And so there are no spectator ions, and it's balanced. Let's recap. You wrote formulas. You reviewed the rules for writing equations. You practiced writing chemical equations. You predicted the products. And you used the solubility rules. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and subscribe to my YouTube so that you know when the next episode comes out. Happy Islands, y'all.